Are you a user of SAP Financial? Have you ever wondered if there is a way to build your financial documents with Excel? Well, there is now. We present Odin Open Document Interface. It is an easy Excel integration tool for SAP Financial Document. You can take over posting from external sources or just speed up capturing. It is an open source application, community built and completely free to use. It accepts Excel and CSV files as input data. It has a flexible data format. We will see this in, in more detail later. And it is also highly extensible. So if you need um, custom logic, uh, developers can make use of the um, SAP body framework uh, which is applied here in this uh, context below i have uh, posted a link to our repository on github uh, let's just go there real quick so here you find all the, on the source code which is relevant for your uh, sap administrator in case the uh, software is not already installed on your system and you also find installation guidelines here and uh, we have our wiki pages where you find uh, some documentation um, for now let's just go to the quick start section in the readme file um, here a simple excel template is uh, provided which you can use for your postings uh, let's download it As you can see, the file consists of two tabs. One tab uh, contains the available fields. Um, as you can see here, uh, many commonly used uh, fields are available. And those uh, field names uh, will be used here in the, in the template in the, the first row. Um, these uh, technical field names due to history are uh, in many cases uh, German abbreviations and of course I don't I don't blame you if you don't know the or, uh, the SAP technical field names but there is a quite uh, straightforward way to find them out at least in the vast majority of cases so let's switch over to SAP. I have uh, prepared a financial posting here, probably a little oversimplified, but uh, for the case of, of this uh, demonstration, it, it should be fine. So let's see how we can figure out the um, technical, technical field name, for example, for the field company code. Let's jump to a position. Position the cursor in, in the company code field and then hit and then use the F1 shortcut. Click on the tool. And here we find the field name, which uh, is required for, for Odin. So let's get back to our Excel list um, and delete all the, the example data and let's try to let's try to rebuild this document here from from scratch. I have left the technical counter field. The counter is used to group line items into one document. So we have two line, line items here, hence we need two lines with uh, one counter value. So if we start from the top, our first field uh, is the document type. So once again, let's figure out the technical field name. Uh, here for the 
the, the uh, header data, use the, the head, position the cursor, F1, tool, copy the field name. the value um, header header information should be repeated in each row next is the document number naturally uh, the document number is not the input field um, the document number will be created once the, the posting is done so our next field is the company code I know the the field values or, or, or at least some of them uh, by heart, so we'll type them in directly. The procedure to look to look them up uh, would be the same as I, I showed showed before. Field value is uh, seventy one here in this case. Our next field would be the, the fiscal year, um, but we don't we don't need to specify the fiscal year, and also we don't need to specify the period. It will be uh, determined automatically. So let's uh, specify the document date and the and the posting date. In our case both have the same field values. have the posting key and the posting key also does not need to be specified um, uh, if it is left out uh, the system will um, determine the posting key automatically so next we have the account here and in, in this strange example it's the both oh, on both uh, both positions the same uh, account some strange uh, formatting here. Let's just use text. Next is the assignment. Also, the same field value twice. And then we have the cost center. is pretty straightforward I think our next field is the the amount um, as you can see here SAP uh, displays um, credit values with a uh, minus uh, Odin does does, uh, does not require signs um, for, uh, instead Odin uh, uses a, a post fixes so the technical field name for the amount, for the document amount uh, is this one, and we add underscore s for debit and underscore h for credit. So this is the value on the, on the debit side, and we take over the value on the credit side but we leave out the, uh, the sign and we also need a currency and one more remark uh, regarding the the, the amount uh, the amount uh, should be stated in in gross as gross value um, in case you need you need uh, um, tax, uh, simply specify the, the tax code, and the tax will be calculated calculated automatically. Okay, so we are done here. Let's uh, save the file. Switch back to to SAP. Enter transaction set Odin. 
in case the transaction is not there, you will probably have to install uh, Odin first. Um, as, as I mentioned before, on the GitHub side, uh, you can find the link below. Uh, there is also an uh, installation guideline. So, but in our case, Odin is, is here. Every, everything is fine. So let's just uh, choose the file from our local PC. Okay, hit execute. And it says ready, so all the, the checks went fine. So we can, we can for the for the sake of this tutorial, let's just quickly build in an error. I will switch with, with my uh, posting date to, I don't know, somewhere in the future. Save. So, okay. This happens if, you, if there is an, is an error. Is, as uh, the moment when when this uh, video is recorded uh, in, in 2021, of course the posting periods here in 2022 are uh, not open yet. So let's just uh, correct this real quick. Save. Go back to Odin. Execute. State is ready, okay, everything is fine. And then, as of now, we have only done a simulation, so we have to execute once more. And it says, okay, so the posting has been done. We have a document number now, and we can, we can double click and jump to transaction FB03, where we can I see that our document has successfully been posted. So that's basically it. Um, of course, there are more um, complex um, postings that can be made, and also uh, Odin supports um, mass processing of documents and can also run in background and. If you have a couple of more nice features, just check out the documentation on the on GitHub. Um, looking very forward to, to your feedback. Use the comment section below. Also feel free to ask uh, any questions. So uh, thank you very much for your attentions. Take care. Bye.